I said, of course, yeah, I, I want to go to America. I mean, who doesn't want to go to America, especially from that hellhole where I live? Yeah. And, um, and so, so in 19, 1967, I was the lucky guy who actually went to, uh, uh, oh, that, you, I don't know if you heard of, of Prague Spring. Uh, anyway, so, so he, he, arranged, he arranged, the, 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 arranged it for me to, to be able to visit. And so I ended up in Colorado Springs, uh, and I met with uh, with my uh, with my with my cousins, uh, his his kids, and whatever. The interesting thing was was that on the uh, at the airport where they when they met me, first thing he says, and he said it in Czech, so his kids wouldn't under kids wouldn't understand. He says, "Don't tell them we are Jewish." I said, "Okay, whatever you say." You know, it was it, they were so traumatized by by all these things that happened during the war. Oh. That they they hid they hid their, their identity. He changed his name from from Weinstein to to Wells, so he's got a very American name. And my cousins, I now have a, a cousin in in uh, in uh, Colorado, Tony Wells and Denise Wells, and you know they're the American cousins. <laughs> <laughs> they are one hundred percent, you know. Uh, no, anyway, so <laughs> there there we are. So, so I spent uh, I spent some real real quality time in in, in Colorado. I, uh, I I I knew I, I thought I knew English when I when I got there. But but when you know when the plane landed in New York at Kennedy Airport, that was the first stop. I didn't understand the word the Americans were saying because I learned English from some from some British teachers and uh, <laughs> I didn't understand a word. <laughs> well, there's a lot of American dialect. <laughs> You well, know. I mean, it was New York. I mean, I, I, I don't even know. Uh, anyway, so uh, I, but I, I survived. I, I managed to to change planes. Uh, went to Chicago, then from Chicago to Denver, then from Denver to. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I managed all that, you know, uh, with my with my broken English, and uh, <laughs> so so I landed. I landed there in Colorado Springs, and I spent uh, I spent nine months in Colorado. I was skiing. I was doing stuff. But oh, the more wow. most important thing was. Yeah, and I met I, I met a general that uh, you know my my uncle was in a civil air patrol, so he had something, some connection to the the the, the armed 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 forces. So this this general, you know, he he heard that I was on a national team of Czechoslovakia skiing, so he wanted to ski with me. Oh, so, uh, cool. so he took me to Vail a few times. We were we skied together. It was quality time, anyway. So, uh, um, but uh, but uh, the important thing was that that uh, I got a job. I got a sort of a part-time job at at the uh, Denver Equipment Company where they make make pumps and and so on and so on. And so I I learned first of all first of all I learned English and, and from my from my cousins and and I learned and I learned the, the technical stuff as an I was already an engineer, but I couldn't understand I I couldn't understand the drawings I couldn't you know they they use the 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 fractions uh, inches right, right. And in, uh, so I learned all that, and and uh, and and later in 1968, when I when I got to to Canada, I, I was ahead of everybody because I I spoke fluent I spoke fluent English. I understand to the drawings on my resume. There was a there was nine months or or maybe six months at Colorado, uh, a Denver Equipment Company company at, at Colorado Springs. So I you know I I came to Montreal and. And I actually, I actually had to refuse two jobs. 